Quantum decoherence is a cornerstone concept in modern physics, explaining why the bizarre behavior of quantum systems like superposition and entanglement doesn't manifest at macroscopic scales. Coined by physicist H. Dieter Zay in the 1970s, decoherence describes how quantum states become entangled with their environment, effectively collapsing into a single observable outcome. Imagine a delicate quantum state as a bubble of infinite possibilities. When exposed to external influences, the bubble bursts, leaving only one realized possibility. For instance, a particle's position or spin, previously a blur of probabilities, becomes fixed when observed. Decoherence solves the mystery of why quantum effects disappear in our everyday world by showing how the environment acts as a natural observer, constantly measuring quantum systems. This has profound implications, not just for understanding physical reality, but also for drawing parallels with the human mind. Could consciousness, too, consolidate fragmented inputs into a cohesive experience in a similar way? The human brain processes the world in fragments. Sights, sounds, memories, and emotions all arise from distinct neural networks. Yet our conscious experience feels unified. How does this happen? Neuroscience offers some clues. Research into the brain's modularity reveals that different areas specialize in processing specific types of information. But these regions don't work in isolation. Synchronization, often in the form of gamma wave coherence, integrates these fragments into a single, seamless narrative. This phenomenon mirrors quantum decoherence. Just as a quantum system collapses into a singular state through environmental interactions, the brain seems to collapse diverse neural inputs into the cohesive self. Philosophers like Thomas Metzinger argue that the self is a mental construct, a self-model created by the brain to make sense of disparate sensory and cognitive data. This model, much like a quantum system, relies on constant observation and interaction to remain stable and coherent. Could quantum mechanics play a direct role in consciousness? The controversial ORC-OR theory, proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, suggests that quantum coherence within microtubules, tiny structures in neurons, might be integral to conscious thought. According to this model, Quantum coherence allows the brain to process information non-linearly, enabling creative leaps and deep insights. Decoherence, then, would mark the transition from potential states of awareness to actual conscious experiences. While this theory remains speculative, evidence from studies on neural synchronization and gamma oscillations supports the idea that coherence, whether quantum or classical, is vital for integrating information across the brain. This suggests that consciousness might not just resemble quantum decoherence metaphorically, but could be directly influenced by it. If true, this would imply that the human mind operates at the edge of physics and biology, navigating a delicate balance between coherence and decoherence. The unconscious mind, much like a quantum system, exists in a state of superposition, a realm of uncollapsed possibilities. Dreams provide a fascinating glimpse into this fragmented mental landscape, where memories, fears and desires intermingle without the constraints of linear logic. Neuroscience reveals that during REM sleep, the brain activates regions associated with memory and emotion while suppressing those responsible for rational thought. This creates a space where disparate fragments of experience can combine in novel and often surreal ways. Upon waking, the conscious mind acts as a kind of observer, attempting to impose coherence on these fragments by interpreting them as a cohesive narrative or dismissing them as nonsense. Sigmund Freud's theory of dreams as the royal road to the unconscious aligns with this perspective. 
suggesting that the conscious self emerges by collapsing the superposed states of the unconscious into a single reality. In both quantum mechanics and consciousness, observation plays a critical role. In the quantum world, observation doesn't just reveal a system's state, it actively determines it by collapsing probabilities into a single outcome. Similarly, in the realm of the mind, focused attention determines which fragments of experience become part of the conscious self. Research in mindfulness and meditation highlights this process. By training the mind to observe without judgment, practitioners can reshape neural pathways, effectively rewiring their perception of reality. This mirrors the act of quantum measurement, where the observer shapes the outcome of an experiment. The brain's ability to focus and direct attention is not merely a tool for survival. It is the mechanism by which we construct our subjective reality, choosing which fragments of experience to integrate and which to discard. The parallels between quantum decoherence and the fragmentation of consciousness challenge our understanding of both reality and the self. If the mind operates like a quantum system, then the cohesive self we experience might be an illusion, an emergent property arising from the constant collapse of fragmented possibilities. This idea has profound implications. Philosophically, it suggests that the self is not fixed but fluid, a dynamic construct shaped by observation and interaction. Practically, it opens new avenues for exploring mental health, creativity, and personal growth. By learning to navigate the fragmented nature of our consciousness, through techniques like mindfulness or cognitive reframing, we might gain greater control over our subjective reality. Moreover, advances in quantum neuroscience and AI could one day unravel the mysteries of how decoherence shapes not just physical systems, but the very fabric of human experience, bridging the gap between the quantum world and the mind.